I'll never forget that morning. As a whitetail hunter, it was the most unbelievable morning I've ever been in, involved with. Climbed up in the tree stand, the sun was rising, and I knew the woods were gonna wake up. 40 minutes went by. I looked behind me and I saw eight does. And they looked scared. And I'm like, what is going on? I thought it was a pack of coyotes chasing them or something like this. And I turned around and there he is, an absolute giant. And we knew he was there because of the shed that we found earlier that spring. He came in and I knew he was mad. His hackles were standing on his back really high and I knew he was gonna bolt. This went through my head really fast. I knew that I had to stop him some way, somehow. And he took off and instead of a grunt, I whistled at him and he stopped at 20 yards. I burned the pin right behind his shoulder and I let the arrow fly. The deer ran out of my life and I'll never forget it. And I dream about it all the time. All we could think about for the next two, three months was finding his sheds. No further than 50 feet away from the previous year's shed, I found his right side. I had teams trying to find the other side. It drove me nuts. The following fall, I get up in my tree stand and I look down at the ground. All along, it was right underneath my tree stand. You would think something so massive and so big, you'd be able to see it really easy. Because we had these two beautiful sheds, the best way that I could honor that deer was to get him mounted. I had the state of Kansas and other professionals come out and help me with uh, deciding how to get him mounted. And they also helped me measure him. A 251 inch whitetail doesn't walk into your life all the time. I shed tears over that animal, but I have perspective now. Maturity does that for you. <laughs> you know, my dad started me into hunting. You know, I remember six, eight years old, he took me uh, upland hunting. And from that point on, I was, a, I was an upland hunter. Um, but when I was 14, my uncles uh, got me into bow hunting and showed me how to shoot a bow. and. Um, I remember going with my uncles and they said, you've got to do this and go try it. Today, I have this deep respect for what it means to chase a mature whitetail. The spring of shed hunting to the health of the herd, staying physically fit, shooting my bow, dialing in my bow, the camaraderie and the comparing of notes and share the stories of how we should go and hunt them and how should we attack and how should we strategize and to focus on the culmination of a mature whitetail. Every time I get in a tree stand, I think about that 251 inch white tail. There is not a time that goes by. He is the pinnacle of our sport. Can it happen to me again? Probably not, probably not, but it could happen again. <laughs>